Hello everyone, good morning. So I am off to a guide event today. Um, it's a short, quick one. However, I will stop into the Dollar Tree and share a walkthrough and then hopefully I find some goodies that I can then share a haul with you guys. So in the meantime, I cannot even believe we are through almost the first week of April and it's snowing here. So I'll show you a little glimpse of what we got. We got hit with a pretty good snowstorm. I'll share that with you and then we'll walk right into Dollar Tree. I hope you all have a wonderful weekend and I will catch you in the, in the haul video. Bye for now. Look at these awesome new hats. They look so cute with some vinyl custom prints on them. You can definitely use your Cricut or your Silhouette to do that with. And these t-shirts are really nice and soft along with these tanks. These cat hats are really cute. Look at this print here. These little wristlets are so cute. The black is so simple. Ah, this one's pretty popular. It's the last one on the shelf. And the pineapple print is really cute. And this one is different too. Pineapple bag. I wish these were canvas, but they are cute still. This cacti bag is really popular right now. So I'm sure it will sell really fast. They're adorable. They're like little cartons, but they're plastic and they're oversized. But I wish they had been available before the Easter kind of stuff came out because they would have made cute baskets. But they're still cute if you're going to do a birthday basket or a summer basket. Just take you down this area here with all the no newer summer things that are being put out. I love these little take alongs. Perfect for the beach. They have the nice holes so the sand can just feed through them. There's some new floral still out. I love this bag. It's so pretty. Look at the gold prisms and the love. Very pretty. The foiling is so nice. I just wish that they weren't, um, they are crinkled up a bit so I would have used one for a planner cover. These are funny little detective kits. Teach your child how to be a detective. These are great for little party favors as well if you're putting together little loop bags. I still haven't bought one of these. Let me know if you've tried them. Here's your cute little Star Wars sticker kit. Interesting little storage basket. It looks like it has um, a handle, which makes for easy transportation if you're moving things around. Some newer colors, and then there's your staples that are still out and being restocked, which is nice. Erasable highlighters. Interesting. Puzzle book puzzles. So I've purchased these before for ephemera, but just going to show you some of the newer prints as I am looking for one specific puzzle. But some really pretty ones here today. Oh my goodness, I love this one. Look how like vintage it looks, but I don't need it. I have enough puzzle pieces. But nice to see these deep, kind of like a. I don't know, it's not really a bowl, but I did make a DIY for my for my craft table. I'll put the link up above. I made a caddy. These are cute little magnetic tins. They're nice and large. The glue dots appear every so often. I have a pack at home and don't really grab for them, but I'm wondering what you guys use them for mostly. This is 
really cute. I love when they have these really great quality coloring books with the nice white pages. But how pretty is this for a little one? Thomas the Train. I love when they get these little three pack notebooks. They're perfect little notebooks. I'm just going to go through and see what type of patterns they have. Love this one here. I'm making a mess. Sorry, guys. And, uh,. Oh, I love this blue print one. It's so pretty. It's hard to film this with one hand. Ah, llamas. Love this one. Okay, so there's a little llama. I just don't know what's in the middle, but super cute little notebooks. Great for your purse, too, these ones. The fun new line of stickers is still out, but I'm going to take a look and see if they have the coffee print. I got the cacti ones already that I was on the hunt for. I'm just not sure about the coffee stickers yet. I love them when I first saw them, but they are quite colorful for my design style when I make pocket letters. I tend to go for lighter colors, but oh, they have one last pack of the Gone Camping. That must have been a big hit. And these are absolutely my favorite. I just love these stickers, but I have so many of them already in my sticker binder. I'm carefully looking for a pack of zebra pens. There are three to a pack. I've not found them. So someone has um, sent me a picture looking for them and I can't find them at any of my stores. So that's what I'm looking for here. Some new home decor, really pretty bright colors as well. These little prayer boxes or little bowls are cute. Little angels. And then there's a newer angel up here at the top, kind of like sitting on a little sphere. Oh, new candles. Seaside Ocean Mist. They look cute in little mason jar style. I think I'm going to pick up a couple of those mirrors. I've been thinking of DIY. I'll just take you through some of the decor that's here. Candle holders. I love those little polyhedron candle holders. And some of the floral is still... Oh, the carnations are new. Those are new. And there's the hello sign. Love it, love it, love it. One more left here for me. But I bought mine at my other store. And they have the little rams but no unicorns. The little chefs are still here. Piggy banks. Kind of just random finds on the shelf. And then there's some Harry Potter stuff. I'm going to take you down through the stickers. And then over to the craft area. So if I spot anything new, I'll kind of chat about it. I think I missed out on that unicorn. I hadn't really spotted it when I was live in store when I somebody mentioned it in my video and then I spotted that it was in the store when I went back. Of course it was sold out. I'm gonna see if they'll have the new decals come out. Just gonna show you some of the beads, seeds, you know, sequins, little tools and stuff here that we have in our craft area. I just wanted to point out this tweezer set here was definitely not worth my money. I purchased it and actually discarded all the pieces. There's no grip to the tweezer set at all. This is a nice print. It's so 
it's got a beautiful plushy feel compared to the originals that they've had for a while yeah definitely much plushier and I'll just take you through here and show you I don't have kitties but sometimes you guys might want to know what's out on the shelves has anyone tried the glitter bake uh, powder the shimmering powder on their cakes I was thinking of making some bath bombs and using it What in the is this? Jet puff? It looks like a container filled with fluffy marshmallow cream. <laughs> Has anyone used it? I've never seen that before. Hmm, this looks good. I made lasagna with these. I purchased them at the other store and it turned out really well. They worked out great. I was really happy with those noodles. I've heard great some reviews on the, these coffee pots, but they are sold at a home sensor winter store, so I'm sure that they're not too bad. I'm yet to try them. So the egg cartons are still available, but I had showed you um it's kind of a pullout like that that was wider. Those are all gone. Well, this looks new to me, or I've just never paid attention, but it is made by Betty Crocker. It feels like a nicer pasta. Nice to see these textured placemats back in stock. I did make a cute candle holder DIY with it. I'll link the card up above. And this white placemat, I'm still debating about getting one for my craft table. I'll take you down the kitchen area and see if there's anything new and fun. Ah, these kitchen sink mats would make great use for a DIY. I'm thinking, hmm. These cute little mugs and saucers or little cups and saucers are so sweet how nice would they be for an espresso or cappuccino or latte how pretty they're not as tiny as a regular espresso cup but not as big as a regular mug i'm looking for the barbie hair detangler has anyone spotted them i've looked at a couple stores and haven't had any luck there's this one here but i'm looking for the barbie brand one These little chatties are cute if you have low rise kicks or ballet flats for the summer and spring. There's the three basic colors, which is nice. And they have some Stephen Land socks still kind of hanging around. I'm still looking for the rectangular stackables and have had no luck. There's just none here. <laughs> and I'm starting to kind of wonder where they're hiding in my area. Ooh, these are interesting kinder eggs. They're in a hard pl plastic. 
I'm not too sure that would be good for the environment. Oh, looks like you can eat it. Spoonable treat. These are cute little phone stands. Uh, okay. uh, I do not care. How cute is that? I like the little cupcake one too. It's pretty. And the little Vaselines are new. I'm happy to see those out. I don't tend to go for lip balms like that, but they're a great brand. Little emojis are making their way around. And some new makeup is out. Just kind of browse down. I love these placemats for making no sew pillows because they're double layered like this. They make it so easy for stuffing. I'll link the card up above because I've made a few of them before. Oh my goodness, the sandals are just oh so appealing, but I know that the quality on them are not the greatest. So I do tend to go for the men's because they have, see the women's, they have this thin strap and it kind of hurts my foot. Plus they're really thin and I feel the ground. I prefer um, the men's actually, they have a nice thick strap on top and they also have a thicker sole. And these noodles are awesome for making wreaths. If you have a wreath in mind, the noodles work really well. Cutest decorative magnets I think I have ever seen at Dollar Tree. I love the focus on the good, but look at this one here, be a pineapple, stand tall, hello gorgeous. They're so well done and they're thin, I really like them. These are new cosmetic bags, they're really pretty, they're like a plastic, and look at this, they're feather printed with the purple, the teal color, there's the pink, as orange, purple, teal, pink, let me know if you've used them before, these make, um, sorry, these little brushes are great for actually cleaning your makeup brushes as well, they're facial scrubbers, and some new magnets are out, just going to take you through the makeup slash nail area, kind of let you see what I see, it's hard sometimes to spot newer things but I try to be I try to be vigilant and see if there's anything new I tend to find lip smackers sometimes hiding here so that's what I'm usually looking for for my daughter All the gray mason jar holder style style holders are gone, but these are so cute for makeup brushes or even paint brushes, pencils, pens, anything really. Ooh, the brand's simple. This is sold at Shoppers Drug Mart for a lot more. So you've got this one here, moisturizer, soothing toner. So if you put the three of them together, they'd make a perfect little kit. You can put it in a little cellophane bag. How nice is that? What a great value as a little gift. Look at the little Biore. These are much more expensive at Walmart. I've purchased the larger one, but 
I mean, these are little trial sizes, but still, if you want to give it a try and see if it's worth your money, at least you're not losing out. And these are great too for your purse. What is your favorite razor from this area here? I'm actually looking for, it's called Warm Wishes. It was a bottle of spray that was available in the US about two years ago and I have not been able to find it here so I keep looking but I'm also curious to know what is the best razor you find? This shaving foam works really well for slime. I'm not familiar with Gentry Care, however, on a few accounts I have seen a few people completely clear out the shelf and buy all of these little packets. So I'm not sure what they do, but they might be a good quality. <laughs> Those cute brushes out of the singing. So I'm down this aisle because my daughter's birthday is this month, and I'm just hoping to find some cute things for her birthday. Um, even if it's just a little added item for a decoration. This letter banner is cute, but I already have one. And I do tend to reuse things for birthdays, so kind of mix and match stuff too and makes it look cute. But then I sometimes do a full-on theme. This Barbie tattoo set would definitely be a lot more money somewhere else. So that's a great value as well if you're doing any theme-related stuff like that. And I'll just take you down the baby shower stuff just to see if there's anything fun and interesting here. I think this comes, oh, the doilies here are awesome for pocket letter wrapping. I know some of you have been searching for them, so definitely take a peek down this aisle, down by the wedding stuff. And these are cute too. I'm sure you can do a DIY with those rose petals. That concludes my walkthrough. I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you so much for spending some time with me today. And I look forward to sharing my haul with all of you. Until the next time, have a wonderful Sunday, everyone. Take care. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.